Hi, I'm Dr. Rudy Cashman, the uh, Medical Wellness Director at Leuven Hospital. I'm here today with two wonderful uh, guests. We've been working with the Daniel Plan, a plan of uh, our wellness uh, with us today, uh, Linda Brooks, uh, who uh, is a fitness uh, in instructor. Uh, and uh, welcome uh, to the show, Linda. Thank you, and uh, you've had a lot of influence in the community and, uh, and uh, wellness and teaching uh, lifestyle. Uh, and uh, then we have Karen Stable with us, Reverend Kevin Stable is with us, the uh, pastor uh, from the Destiny Life uh, Center. Uh, and we've been working together, and last Saturday we had an opening oh, uh, yes. program a uh, for the uh, Daniel Pan. We had nice attendance. Yes, and, had a great uh, time. We had some and good, fresh vegetables. and. Yes. And, and uh, fruits that you had ordered in, it was great. Yeah, and it, right after we had had the meeting, uh, we uh, served from the uh, Loving Cafe. Yes. Uh, we brought in fresh vegetables. It wasn't it delicious? It was delicious. People uh, loved it. Oh, people, you could eat it. It was so wonderful. Yeah, people dove for that food. Oh, and yeah. It was, uh, and, and it was funny because yeah. after everybody yeah. ate, they, they commented yeah. and said, you know what? I'm yeah. full. Yeah. And I'm it, it, it's a nutrient in the food that makes you feel yeah. uh, full. Uh, really. And today, you know, the Daniel plan is, sort of, is divided into uh, faith, food, fitness, uh, focus, and friends. Mm -hmm. And it's about wellness. We're not talking just about food here. We're talking about being well, psychologically, physically, uh, and, and, and we need, uh, uh, and, and really the, the, the gasoline uh, is really uh, is faith and friends, isn't mm -hmm. it? That yes. makes the whole thing go. Yes. Uh, and, uh, so, and, and Karen, I mean, you, do we not know that our bodies are the temples oh. of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Mm -hmm. That's really what we are saying. It's, it takes a combination. For many of us, it, it's, it's too difficult to change our habits of our lives, and, and, uh, and we need uh, God's Some help. Some supernatural yeah. strength Super and power. Strength, that, uh, supernatural yes. uh, strength. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, Reverend Warren uh, remembered you know, how we started all this in the Saddlebrook Church. Uh, uh, Rick Warren in uh, California, they were baptizing uh, about 826 people, I know the number, and they all went into the river, just like it says in the Bible, in the Jordan River. Yes. And him, he came up, and, and they all came back up. He says, oh my gosh, we're all overweight. I actually used another word, I don't want to mention it. Yeah, and, uh, he's the you know, in Japan, <laughs> In Japan, they found a friendlier <laughs> word. They took a national vote, they called them metabos. Oh yeah. <laughs> It worked, and he found they were unhealthy, and, he, and he's doing something about it. So we have to congratulate him, and that's what this Daniel plan is about. And the thing you pointed out to me, Karen, a few minutes ago, which I really didn't realize, is that the book of Daniel is an unbelievable book. I, I think I'm going to uh, read it tonight. Oh. I had not read the whole Daniel chapter in the Bible. Read the I entire read experts book. Of it. Yeah, yes. you mentioned that. Yes. I hope to have it. Maybe we could have it printed up in little booklets, and for because it'll really lead you, uh, lead you on. And what the Reverend Warren is is really saying, uh, you know, take you and your family, and, and have a realistic look. Mm -hmm. What what's the situation in our lives? Are we healthy? Do we think it's just our genes? Are we eating the wrong food? Are we not exercising? Are we not honoring the spirit of God? Uh, you know what I mean? Yes. And, and uh, uh, I, I think, uh, and now we're being good stewards yeah. of the bodies that he's given us, exactly, these wonderful exactly. bodies. Exactly. And he wants you us know. to be Daniel Strong, since we're speaking about fitness. Mm -hmm. And I wore my Daniel Strong shirt today. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm I noticed you uh, told me the other day yeah. you, you had lost uh, 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 almost 10 pounds yes. on, on eating differently. Not eating. a diet. Not a we diet. We just recommend eating different food. Just so a lifestyle. We're pursuing excellence in body, mind, spirit, mm -hmm. which is right along what you know I've been teaching for years. Uh, uh, in years. Tell us a little bit, Linda, about your take on that since you're an expert in fitness. Uh, uh, this is what we're focusing uh, on, on today. T tell us a little a bit about uh, uh, what you know, what you've learned uh, about uh, fitness. Okay, um, I started my company, Step Up to Fitness, in 1994, and I, I, the foundation of it is, was based on what uh, Dr. David Thatcher, the Surgeon General at the time, had written, that physical inactivity leads to premature death and unnecessary illness. And, <clears throat> and it was also, the foundation was built on 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20, which you just explained uh, uh, to the viewers about how our bodies are temples. 
you know, and we got to mm -hmm. honor God with our bodies. So in the last 20 years, I've done several programs within the community and worked with um, youth in all age groups and mm -hmm. populations. And it's about the, the mindset and the spirit of, of, of the community to want to change and be more obedient to God's word. Mm -hmm. Because in the book of Daniel, he was very obedient to God's word. When, it, when, when he was told that he had to bow to idols, he refused. And exercise in the community over the past 20 years, you know, to me, it's been a struggle to try to get the community to say, hey, we're not going to bow and just accept the fact that we're going to have diabetes because we live in a low income. We're going to have heart disease. Don't bow to those idols. Don't, don't buy into that. In other words, take personal responsibility like Daniel did and, if, and, and, and have faith that God is going to deliver you from these 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 illnesses that you have plaguing your body. Um, and so that's wh why Daniel decided to come up with the fast and say, you know, hey, eat fruits and vegetables for 10 days. See how you'll feel. Our community, uh, um, we eat a lot of things that's toxic to, to our bodies, okay? It takes time to change behaviors. So with my company, I'm promoting lifestyle changes. I, I'm, I'm not asking you to Oh, well, just do this for six weeks. When, when I work with clients, I train and help them to, to make lifestyle changes, spiritual, mental, um, the, whole, the, whole, the holistic approach. Yes. I, I take the holistic, holistic. approach. That's what There's we not do. just one piece that oh, can get great. you fit and healthy. It's a whole number of Ken, components. Ken, I mean, you want these beautiful words? Oh, uh, my. They're Karen like music, they're like music, music to our we, ear. We, we, <laughs> This is music, man. You're playing yes. the violin as yeah, far as uh, you, we're concerned. So so <laughs> Beautiful you. words, uh, Linda. And so mm. I would like to, you know, share that the American College of Sports Medicine recommendations for, for average population people who don't have a lot of health issues is you should have at least 150 minutes of cardiovascular exercise at a moderate intensity. When they say moderate, they mean you can be out walking at a brisk pace where you, like now, you know, you're, or, or, you're talking, but it's hard to catch your breath. That's the level you want to be at. Um, so you could do that uh, at least 150 minutes per week. You could split it up and do 30 to 60 minutes, you know, three to five days a week. Or you can do a high intensity at 20 minutes, uh, three to, uh, two to three to five days a week. Um, with that, with those guidelines, what that's going to do is that's going to increase your cardiovascular fitness. You can't do anything without a strong heart and a strong lungs. The cardiovascular works together. So if you increase your heart and lung muscles and you get the oxygen, the fresh oxygen from the heavy breathing um, to, to pull out the um, carbons out of your blood, then, then you can get your, all of your cells in your body will come to life and uh, regenerate and it will give you more energy. Uh, the American Council of Sports and Medicine also recommends that you do at least uh, two to days of uh, resistance training. That's weight bearing exercises. You could use weights. You could res resist the band. Yeah, it can be light weights. It right? could be it light could be five, weights. Five, ten pounds. No big deal. No big deal. Just as long yeah. as you do your major muscle groups, your large muscle groups, um, mm -hmm. and you do that at least two to three days a week on nine consecutive days. And you should stretch, based on their guidelines, at least two to three days per week. Stretching, you know, you might want to do they talk eight to about 12 that in the reps too. Yeah. of stretching. You want to hold your stretches between 10 and 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, those are just basic things that the media has played up and, 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 and uh, industry has played up and used these same basic things that the American Council of Sports Medicine, which is a website you can, you can go to, they played it up and they, they manipulated it around and marketed it into a tool. But it, it's very simple. Daniel's mm -hmm. plan was very simple. The American College of Sports Medicine plan is very simple. It's not rocket science. It's not complex. It just takes um, a person's um, dedication and discipline to do it. Just like praying. We pray every day. We pray. We should exercise every day. We eat. We should exercise every day. You know. This is beautiful words. Karen, I agree with him. You know, what, what I was just reading, reviewing for the show, is kind of interesting. Uh, that Americans sit 7.5 to, to 15 hours a day. Wow. 
we have sitting disease, we need to increase our activity. And they're saying that this sitting uh, is, in, is surpassing smoking as a main cause of chronic disease. Wow, just sitting. Isn't that something? Yes. yes. The yeah. Surgeon General, uh, yeah. Dr. Benjamin, even touches on that in her yeah. Uh, yeah. report for a fit and healthy nation about how sitting is the new smoking. That's so we're gonna yeah. we're gonna end up losing a lot of people to sitting disease. Sitting, and, and yes. I think this one is one of the things that's causing us to to, to store more fat because it, the body uh, uh, it shuts off your body's ability to burn fat efficiently when yes. you just sit, you know. Yeah, so that that's buy into uh, everything that is causing uh, us to you know be heavier than we we should. Tell me what you've been doing this.